Hi, this is Byron coming to you once again with another video on hydroponic growing. And today what we're going to do is we're going to take a common uh, item that you found in your household, which is a milk carton or juice carton, uh, and we're going to convert this into a, a growing unit. Okay, it's a pr pretty simple project. It'll take you probably 10 minutes to actually knock this out. All right, so let's begin. All right, so to start, what we're going to need is, is a container. We're going to need net pots. I would suggest two, no more than three inch pots. We have our uh, plants with the roots which have gone through the rock wool, uh, a fine tip marker, and a type of cutting device. So this is a little, a little uh, snap off blade knife, or you can use, you know, a, a knife, a kitchen knife. Like so, all right. So the first thing we're going to do is. Um, with our container, I've already washed this out pretty well. Um, one thing I want to point out, is I've done this a, a couple of times already, is I would recommend having the outlet or the, the um, if your container is fortunate enough to have a opening here, you want to leave that on the, the top side. So let me turn this around. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the net pot and we're going to actually end up with two net pots um, that are going to go, when, when we're finished, the net pots will be sunk in like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these, we're going to sit them at the top, and we're going to actually, using the marker, we're going to hold it steady and we're going to trace a line around it. All right. And we're going to do that in two in the two spots where we want the cups. Now, one thing is very important. We have a distinct line, two lines on here, or circles. Now, it's very important that you don't actually cut on the line, but you want to cut to the inside of the line. You need enough for the uh, lip of the cut to have uh, to hold on to. So we're going to come in just a little bit. I would say probably an eighth of an inch inside the line. And we're going to cut. And if you happen to touch the line, it's okay. But you want to try to go inside more. And again, you can use uh, multiple kinds of knives to do this. Okay. Well, that actually fell inside. I'll retrieve that in a moment. And let's try this one with a different knife. That's actually a pretty clean cut. I like it. The cup fits very well. All right. Let's try it with the, with the knife. You know what? This actually cuts better. It's nice and sharp. And it's easier to work with. So I would say work with whatever works best for you. Some people can do this with scissors. Again, remember you want to stay inside that the line. See if we can retrieve the other. And if you can't retrieve it, it's still okay. It can really stay in there, it's not a problem. So let's just see if our how well our cups fit. That fits pretty good, fits great. Okay, cups fit great. All right, so the next step again, this has already been washed out. We're going to take some of our growing solution. So this is actually uh, composed of the general. Hydroponics brand. Uh, it's got Flora Micro, Flora Bloom, and Flora Grow. And it's I put uh, a half a teaspoon of each one of these in equal parts into this uh, container of water. Okay, and you can read the instructions. This can be bought on Amazon or any of your local um, hydroponic growing stores. Um, 
but we're going to take the solution. And what I like to do is put one cup in here and we're going to pour the fluid until it reaches the just under the bottom of the cup. All right, we're almost there. We are there. So that fluid is almost level to the bottom of the cup. Want a little bit of space so that there's a little air or level of air between where the roots are and the, um, I'm sorry, where the bottom of the cup is and the, and the fluid. All right, so the next step is we're going to put our seedlings into our net cups. And um, what I like to do on the net cup is to actually cut the bottoms out. And you'll see this commonly done. In fact, you can actually buy net cups with the center already out. But this particular kind uh, don't have the center cut out. So we're gonna just cut it out real quick. And again, this is something that you can actually buy on Amazon or from your local hydroponics store. You typically won't find these in your big box stores like uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. It's kind of a, a specialty item um, the hydroponic you know, people use. All right, so again, that's actually cut out. You can see the, the hole there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to feed this. Um, so now that I've fed it through, I'm gonna place it in there. And I've actually already done this one as well. So I'm going to finish these off with some clay balls. And you can purchase these on uh, any of the hydroponic stores online or right here on Amazon. I like to use the smaller ones. here as well. And these are going to help with moisture retention for our for our plantings. That's pretty much it. If you like the t-shirt I'm wearing, uh, check the link below and uh, you can find out where to purchase it. Because All right, if you're gonna read this, it means you're standing too close. So uh, let's make sure that we're doing the social distancing thing and be safe. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and share. Thank you.